Hi, I'm Paul Sims. I'm here with Josh Lee, Al Higgins, Joe Fury, Lou Morton, Julie Bean. And this episode is entitled Charity Stupid Something. Stupid Holiday Charity Talent, Talent, show. Talent show Event. Uh, Talent Show. This was written by uh, Al Higgins. Yep. Do you? By Paul, you told me to uh, write a talent show one, I think. And that was the inspiration, was the inspiration for the episode. We need a How talent next, show one. Next episode, what do we got? <laughs> well, it, and then, then Al wrote it, and then we said, oh, stupid. Yeah, talent why'd show. we? Yeah. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I, I, think you, part of that, I think part of that was uh, uh, we knew that Vicky could sing, and she'd sung on Broadway, and we wanted something that would use her singing. Mm -hmm. And we just assumed that everyone else had hidden talents of some kind. <laughs> oh, and also, like, this, is the one, this is the one where Matthew's a ventriloquist, right? That's yes, right. That's yes, right. Yes. That was a primary reason for yeah. doing it. Yeah. <laughs> It was also, if I remember right, the, the kind of thing where it's such a cliched idea mm -hmm. in a sitcom yeah. to have a, everyone has to do a talent show right. that we we had to we, we, <laughs> we decided have to do, do it. Do that it. is what it is. We yeah, that's what, that's what it, to do it. Yeah. I think it originally came because we were talking about how dumb that is. And then the point was they all, don't they all say they don't want to do it or something like that? Yeah. And, yeah. and Dave's saying you're not being a good sport, right? Isn't that what happens? I think so. I don't know. If we sat here and watched it, I guess we would get an answer. Let's to not that. do not that. Come on, happen. guys. Come on. This, I haven't seen this in forever. This, this was a funny episode. I yeah, recall. it turned out good. This is funny because it had a lot of silly stuff in it. Had Matthew with the ventriloquist thing. So the great Throdini in it. The oh, yeah. yeah. And now, now is there a real uh, knife thrower named yes, Throdini? Yes, there is. A after, should we? No, why not? Why save it? Um, yeah, I, I only found this out like last year. Maybe someone else found it out earlier. But, but Dave, uh, Dave's talent in this is that he's an expert at knife throwing. Mm-hmm. Um, and he calls him, he called himself the Great Throdini, and uh, I subsequently discovered on the internet that there actually is a Great Throdini who's an actual knife thrower. Was he named oh, after us, or no? I don't think so. From the looks but of his picture, I think he's been doing it for a long time. Isn't Thro Dave's not Throdini in this? There is someone oh, else. Oh, the, the evil guy is Throdini. The other guy is Dave's. Dave's old partner oh, from Kevin Kids McDonald. Is Kevin McDonald is Throdini. That's right. Well, what is Dave's talent initially? It's, it's knife, knife throwing. Knife throwing. But uh, he's got another name. His old knife throwing nemesis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Throdini. that's right. What was uh, What was Dave's knife throwing? Throgali. Oh, I think it, it might was. be Throgali. Yes. I think I mean, it was Throdini. I didn't do the. Paul did the other one. I think Throdini. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, were we good! Yeah. <laughs> this is a this is a this, this is commentary a, session is all writers. There's oh, Kent Zabornak, oh, Kent, our producer right there. There's uh, Steven, another. Is again well, that trip but, to you know, New this, York? This stuff we shot in New York looks so good. I know. It's too bad it was so. Uh, that's a stupid joke. Ugh. Jesus, Joe. There's Lauren Graham. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's terrible. Lauren Graham. Uh, He's gonna make something out of that later. Hey. That was on the top. Oh, yeah, we did like 10 variations on all of these. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller Center, that's right. That's the same the building we, we filmed the uh, the ledge stuff from. That's from, right. From the other episode. The plate from the ledge, which you can hear about in another commentary session. Yeah, we won't bore you with it now. Phil Dicker. The same collection. The there he is. That's the real Phil Dicker. Phil Dicker gets mentioned in these commentaries more than anyone else. He gets mentioned more than Phil Hartman. We never mentioned that woman in the background there. Why not? That's um, What's her I, name? I forget. Joyce. Alpha? <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> no. Oh, that no, that's not Alpha. Janice. No, that's not Alpha. Janice? Alpha was a stand-in. Alpha was never on camera. That's right. Joanne? Tom Sharonis. He's a very good man. Is uh, Jenny? Is um, is Jimmy laying down the law right now and saying that uh, we're having a talent yeah, show? He just yep. did. Yep. Mm. So and, the, and the episode begins. But did we ever? Did you ever tell the story about? It's gonna be a wild ride. The one intern who, or the one background guy who uh, Dave Foley ran into, who was a guard at uh, Disney. No, I uh, don't remember this. He was sort of an effeminate uh, background guy, and and Dave had just been appeared in drag in um, in an episode, and and then he went in on an audition for I think Bugs Life or one of those things, and this guy was the uh, guard, and he was like, Dave, I just have to say you looked wonderful. You look so much better than the girls I've been dating lately. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it is amazing, and I'm sure it's been talked. Dave makes the prettiest woman. Yes, he, he we, does. We just went to the uh, Kids in the Hall, did another re reunion like tour last weekend. They did all new material and stuff. It was really funny. And he, as soon as he puts a wig on, he just looks beautiful. Yeah, you know what he is. looks like? And I told I told him this. I said, "You look like Isabella Rossellini." He does. That's uh, what he yeah. looks like. Yeah. What he dresses as a woman. Like he's screaming and now. naked and bleeding. Oh, not from that movie. Beautiful. So uh, 
Andy's still out of this? Is that the story in this one? He's, uh... Were, yes. Were we He's mad still, at Andy uh, or something? No, this is... Uh, oddly, no, it was a story point. It was yeah. Like a, yeah, it was It was just a story thing. It was an arc. It was partially because we brought in that new woman and... I think there was like one joke. Oh, he appears we, later, so it's yeah, not like he's yeah, gone. He's, yeah, he's, but but he's not a regular. I don't know. No, he's a regular. But he this just, was yeah. this was when they wanted us to do arcs, right? Yeah. The arc yes. thing. Yes. And that was this was the uh, ongoing he story. He was fired. Right? He had to get him back. Yes. Yeah, so the network then, wanted ongoing stories that went from episode to episode, so that if you watched them out of sequence, they would make no sense. Is this where yes. he's a dentist? He wanted, he yeah. wanted us to do yeah. the, the network wanted us to do char- character arcs. Which would subtly threaten the actors and get them to show up on time for table reads. <laughs> That's right. And so we began with Andy. Wait, why should they throw, show up on time for table reads when the scripts were never on time for table reads? Yeah. <laughs> what, who, are, you speaking on, are you speaking on behalf of Stephen Root because he's not here? Exactly. <laughs> I'm channeling Stephen. Yeah. Is that Mara Sorority back there? Oh, know. is Mora the boss now? Yeah, this? I think Mora. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, 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 why, that's the okay. other arc. That's the other, that's arc. The other thing. Oh, then, yeah. then, then Phil became boss. Yeah, at who's one the boss? Who's the boss? Part two. It just switched back and yeah. That's because the piano, he was so funny in the piano in the other episode that we put the piano in his office. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. That was the only reason for it. But he had a grand piano. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It's the only reason. Just, this 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 season, he's like there are five episodes with him and a piano. I know. Fantastic. And he was a great boss. That was that episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, look, Maura has, Maura has, I just saw she has flowers in the office. Oh, she's, she's making it her own. Feminine touch. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Danny Zuko. Julie, you know something about Greece. Who, who is, what's the role of Danny Zuko? Oh, well, that's John Travolta. John Travolta, of course. Oh, on, I'm more expert on Greece, too, quite frankly. But really? I, I can make my yeah. way through Greece. Could you sing a little of it for Girls us? Girls love <laughs> Don't. Greece, too. I can't. We can't license it. Oh, was, uh, yeah. was Jeff Conaway in Greece, too? No, no, he was in Greece. He was Greece Celebrity Fit Club. And Celebrity Fit Club. And Celebrity oh Fit Club God. recently. Yeah, he's doing well. Yeah, and I just saw him at uh, Jamba Juice the other day. Yeah, really? I, I see him whenever Behind I'm the in counter. the valley. Really? It, if you if you hang around Laurel Canyon and Ventura long enough, you will f- run he's into him. He's on the him. corner there. Attention Jeff Conaway stalking. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was actually following me. I don't know. <laughs> um, what was this? Oh, this was Joe's, uh, uh, Joe's talent hidden, for... Hidden yeah. talent. With that completely fake board that Dave saw there. came from a tap dancing jelly maker who may or may not have been a high school thespian. Yeah, we were always oh. we were always revealing that Dave had crazy talent. Oh yeah. There's <laughs> <laughs> Look at Andy. Oh, there's Andy. That's right. This had so this had to have come after oh, yeah. the first Phil on the piano episode. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Now this song was this was a song I always sang at um, the Money Tree with Jack Sheldon, the trumpeter. I was there right. one time mm-hmm. when you sang it. I mm-hmm. remember that. Making this is making whoopee. Making yeah. whoopee, yeah. Yes. By Fats Waller, is that correct? I don't know who sang it. Eddie Cantor it. sang it in a movie called <laughs> Whoopee. <Pretty>. Oh. <laughs> no offense, Phil, but I think that I sing way. Oh, that's right. That's this came from the uh, this sort of stem from. Him directing Dave to do the speech too. Remember, remember oh, when he was oh, yeah. how we thought it was so funny how we get got so pissed off at him. So it kind of a little came from that. Well, I love that. He, him telling Vicky he, she can't sing. <laughs> yeah, <know>. right. <laughs> no, pretty. I think we've mentioned this before in commentaries, but there were about seventy five percent of the episodes also where some was someone teaching someone else to do something. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Even though yes. the, per, the person teaching really didn't know anything <laughs> about it, and the person who was learning it generally was better yeah, than the was person teaching every, every time. So that's a good, that's a good formula to remember. If we ever... <laughs> your spec scripts out there. Yeah. yeah. Any of you still working on those news radio spec scripts? <laughs> <laughs> Sam it up. Paul First, Sam's script. Yeah. C A. If you're and, looking uh, to make up a, a sitcom that goes five seasons under the radar, <laughs> yeah. that's the secret. It wasn't a good uh. spec script to write then. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, p- are... and pianos are funny too. <laughs> Yes. You're still haven't given me notes on my wings spec script, Josh. Bear suits as well. I loved wings. <laughs> Did you love wings? Oh, I Bear loved wings so much. Oh, well. oh, that's another story. I, oh. That's a good wings, Al. That's my note. Thank you. More, more. <laughs> Write another. It's good. What's Joe's thing? He just proves that he can hit stuff and it doesn't hurt him. <laughs> that's right. I think yeah. that's what it was. Good. There's Dave without the wig again, right? Yeah, no wig this with time. Wig, just the red without, wig. without the wig. It was so cute when Mara said sir. It was like uh, Ma- uh, Peppermint Patty's friend. <laughs> Marcy? Marcy. Yeah. Marcy. With wig, without wig. Oh, yeah, Dave's desk was out here. No wig. Doc is here. Doc is not here. What? That's Dave's desk now. Talk about a comeuppance. 
Yeah. Now, Dave was his other hidden talent was uh, we had him as a tap dancer once, tap right? Tap dancing, mm-hmm. and he well, he wouldn't. Dave was very upset about doing it, as I recall. I remember because he was saying the way we ended up having to shoot it was that he tap danced on a table, and we just shot an actual tap dancer from the waist down. Yes, yeah. and he, it. but he was like concerned because he said, "I cannot tap dance, and I cannot pretend to tap dance." Yeah. He was really disturbed by it. And, yeah, it was odd sometimes the things we would ask them to do that that, that you never know what someone would object to. Because I remember also Dave didn't like the scene in the Norm Macdonald episode where he had to speak a little bit of Spanish. Oh. There were like three, three lines of Spanish, and uh, he was like, I don't speak Spanish. Yeah, I that's right. God, and yeah. I can't speak Spanish. Joe Rogan, oddly, would get upset sometimes when we would ask him to do physical things. And to like, take his shirt take off. Take his shirt off. Yeah. And to take yeah. his shirt off, he'd get upset by it. It would be like, what? Even he... though he was chiseled. Oh, so Jesus Christ. Oh, man. He was beautiful. like the David. Oh, man. <laughs> Believe me, we plan- found plenty of ways to ask him to take his shirt off. <laughs> the show. Yeah. That rehearsal. scene got written a lot. Yeah. <laughs> No, but every time he was like, but did oh, Phil Harmon uh, ever turn down anything? Yeah, that's no, what I was just I trying think to think so. of. I don't think there was anything. My recollection of Phil was always anything you threw at him, Phil was kind of like, okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like he was never, never yeah. really had a problem with anything. He had dyed my hair white. Okay. He'd kind of think about it and go, all right, all right, sure. Which was always kind of amazing when you go, when we were filming and you would go over and give him notes. Phil was always kind of just like, oh, you think about it for a second. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll yeah. do it. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he yeah, never yeah. objected or anything. Hey, Bill. He's <laughs> 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 laughing at me. He's not laughing. Yes, he is. They're all laughing. The writers are so pissy. We're like, oh, the, the actors wouldn't do what we said to do. <laughs> no, I think this is just a liberating uh, commentary session, this one, because often, you know, there's an actor or two here. Right. And when they bitch about the show, we, me in particular, just sit here and go, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm I thinking is like, oh, shut up. <laughs> but not, not to, Yes, but... the scripts were late sometimes. <laughs> so what? Boo hoo. <laughs> right. Oh. But the other thing about it was Dave, I, Dave wasn't even, it wasn't like he was so bitchy about it he mm-hmm. just was i remember the tap dancing thing he was just like Good i can't him. tap this i cannot pretend to that <laughs> he was no, disturbed by it it wasn't that... like he was being a jerk about it is he that was... in this episode though no like at the I very end or something i just thought of it because it was another talent he had i think <laughs> oh and he's supposed to be throwing it at her okay right yeah some bad hey, thing that's town hall in uh new york city all you ever spoke in there paul what did you ever speak there oh i love this backstage <laughs> where just the guy goes by in the, on the unicycle keep your, eye, so out. Yeah. Keep your eye out for the extras looks like yeah. we have an old-fashioned card sharp in the background <laughs> yeah. uh, Balancing uh, guy. a balancer a monkey <laughs> actually you know what for a backstage set that looks pretty good yeah, yeah. It does. i really i like that this was a good talent show and who is that the fan I don't know, but I'm sure Julie. I was pissed about it. That's when Harry. It was, what's uh, his name from, from uh, Julie? You cast, you cast her, didn't you? <laughs> we used to bring these sexy girls just to I, piss you off. Hey, look, there's Kevin McDonald from Kids in the Hall. Oh my gosh, look how young they. I think he looks he's, the same now. He looks identical, doesn't he? He's funny. He is funny. I think we we actually tried to have all the kids in the hall on the show at some point, but Kevin McDonald was the only one we ever actually had. No, yeah. no, no, no. We, we had, had another one. We no. had uh, Mark McKinney. I think. Mark, didn't we? Mark McKinney was never on the show. Was he part of Chuck? Was in it. No. no. Who was in no. Chalk? No, because the, the Chalk Full of Notes one was sort of written oh. originally for them, and then they couldn't that do it or wouldn't do it. Mr. Show guys. Oh, Mr. So we did oh, Mr. Show. That's right, the Mr. Show guys. That's right. And, and for some reason, we thought there were Hussain. three people in Mr. Show, and Brian Posehn was the third one. <laughs> no. No, no. <laughs> <I'm> sure <laughs> you did. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, no, actually, you're right. Mark McKinney. I was thinking of the pilot. No, no Mark McKinney wasn't Scott in it. Thompson okay, now, was not Thompson in it. was never in it. Bruce McCullough Listen, was never in it. Can I say something? Now you're just being sagacious. <laughs> oh, wow. Save that for when we do. Look, there's a, a clown. Uh, That's that one uh, background guy in the clown makeup, the big stocky one. I don't recognize him in the clown makeup. Is that the guy with a hat with him from Night Court in the back? What's that guy's yeah, name? Harry's Harry, Harry, whatever his name is. Belafonte. I read Thank an article you. about him. He um, is in New Orleans now and, and put all his money into this uh, club. And then the <laughs> Katrina, he sounded very bitter. Oh, very, very, very he put bad. his money into the club before Katrina? Yeah. Oh. Work your magic on that one, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she, she, it's horrible. I know you better than anyone, right? Huh? You can beat this guy. You can do it. Why is there a poster on the wall that says sacred scripture? That kind of bothers me. It says what? Sacred scripture. Sacred scripture. 
So she needs someone to throw a knife at. Huh? Oh. She, now we're going to have to roll back the tape twice. Why does that guy have a clown suit? Why, why a clown, clown is... suit, and he's got a clown outfit on. Uh, why is your on. equipment from Dr. Frankenstein's laboratory in the background? <laughs> because we needed an excuse to get the production to buy it so we could make the monster. <laughs> so we could activate the Great Ray. We never got the Great Ray. Bring the monster back to life. Well, this was actually just the side of the set, of our actual set. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't this just, this was right on the side? Like, yeah. uh, now that, now that, that guy... guy didn't he appear in another uh, news radio episode? Probably. Maybe. Yeah, he was an announcer at that I think an award thing, oh, uh, that one of those probably. award shows I think. Fine, but if you get nervous, don't worry, I'll jump in and save you. Now, here's Phil being a real trooper in this. I remember because all the crap that gets thrown at him and he. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah, he just keeps going. Oh. See, she does sing well. She really does. 97 episodes, and this is the only chime she got a chance to sing. No, 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 with uh, B.B. she did a little she bit. She sang, oh. yeah, in another one. With B.B.? No, she didn't in, sing. In the, the frog one, didn't they sing? I guess they sang oh. something a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you doing? I thought you froze up. No, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you froze up. <laughs> that was a tiny set, the uh, stage. No expense will be spared for the gigantic <laughs> talent show. The <laughs> largest theater available. Joe, is that you yelling, yelling shut up? Just drop. No, I, th I don't know. I think that was you. No. I'll take it from here. You just do a little dance aside. Who's not doing the voiceover? Was that Robert Spina? It probably was. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were all throwing stuff. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we were doing it. So I might have yelled, you suck, or something. I remember when we were editing that, the, the stuff throwing went on much longer, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. That's something you viewers won't get to see. I'm yeah. sorry. It's all been shit canned. Nope. Oh, yeah. You oh, sorry. Zip it into the airlock, Grandma. Crab Go canned. back again. Mm. Crab canned. Just right there, you know that you're going to have a good scene coming yep. up. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. It's always the, why even bother putting the scene in? You just know it's going to be funny. No. Don't, don't go any further. Right. You know the scene's yeah. going to be good, and then it was written in 1932. <laughs> <laughs> and resurrected in 1997 <laughs> just for this purpose. He got the same little outfit. It's like, what's it's going like... on with the lighting on Jimmy's face? He's completely in the dark. I know Where? we're supposed to be backstage, but. Where? Watch. That's a monkey in the background. Not oh, there. Uh, he moved. It's a very exciting side note, but this was just the si side of the soundstage. That's the actual walls from the soundstage. Yeah, but it's dressed up a lot more. Yeah, it's but not it's like a very exciting well, side exciting. note. But for people, but you, know, you make people think it was like watching. we're putting on a vaudeville show uh, every dude, night. We didn't have that big. We we're didn't have that contraption. Them. We're fooling them. Commentary: four stars. <laughs> <laughs> Did we ever get that Frankenstein's monster to work? <laughs> Partially. He's almost alive. Okay, let's watch it. I haven't seen this probably since we did it. I know. I haven't either. I haven't so either. you're proposing that we be quiet and yeah, watch Yeah, I would actually like to see this. Yeah. All right. Hey, what a great looking audience. <laughs> we have to watch it now because they didn't give us free copies of this DVD. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to watch it and look and look only at the dummy to see how bad Matthew's, <laughs> Matthew's dummy He's operation not is. Bad. That's not very nice to say. I'm sorry, sir. He gets carried away sometimes. <laughs> 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 the mouth not even moving. Yeah. Can't have a word he said. The ultimate self-indulgence. Mm -hmm. Just oh. yeah. six people just watching their work and laughing. <laughs> and it, it. Pretty much, I, we're the only ones who wanted to laugh. At yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered, I think, having the discussion sort of about, too, what people were going to do in the talent show. And then and at one point, it just was like, Andy does a ventriloquist thing. <laughs> yeah. suddenly, suddenly the idea started flowing yeah. immediately, <laughs> instantly. How about Andy doing a ventriloquist thing? <laughs> oh, my God. And they think they can't speak. <laughs> and he's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think this is okay. We're laughing at Andy's performance yeah. more than anything yeah. we wrote. No, it's so. just funny. It's not our writing, it's him. <laughs> I don't know. Hey. Julie, who are those people? Are those I don't know. Chinese? I'm sure Sam and I broke up over it. Oh, <laughs> the acrobats from, from uh, China? Is that what it was? <laughs> 
Did we get a real applaudometer? Is that a <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, that's, oh, no, real. that's the real one. Lou, that's yeah. a real one. Come mm. on. You gotta be kidding me. How did we afford that? We rented it, it, we we it, it from the same people who give the uh, comedy light detector. We liked the lighting so much in that last scene. Sid Caesar Laboratories? Uh, it's just we a, got the giant hammer from, too. You know, sometimes we try to do these scenes where it was like after hours at the office, the lights are kind of low. It just looks depressing. It doesn't yeah. look like... Also, also why did yeah. they turn the lights off after hours? Also, so after hours at a 24-hour news station. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah. Well, don't pull that thread. Just turn the lights thread. off. <laughs> the whole, thing oh, the whole sweater destroyed. Well, just turn I the lights the, on. I, why do the lights pretty off? Pretty sure it's they're like, really hey, drinking. Guys, want to go back yeah. to work Those and are have real beers. We were probably all drinking. Yeah, that was that was probably real beers into the night. That came out of of us doing this all the time. This is what we kind of all did. Was I didn't drink beer. No, we didn't. We well, didn't go hang out in the office drinking. I don't mean in the office, but we'd all hang out later and drink. At a bar. Yeah. At, I didn't. At Pinot Hollywood. Pinot Hollywood. You hung out. No, uh, uh, Eat. It was a conflation of two things. You guys were out drinking, and I was sitting in my office with the lights down low. Whacking his dad. That's true. Sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it. I love this, uh, this visual effect. I don't know if it even worked well, but... Eh. All right. Kind of See, I, okay. I remember being frustrated. You couldn't really tell that was a knife blade. Yeah, in it. I, I wish you'd no. see more of the I actual think... blade. That hurts. <laughs> we should have had the Tom mouth Charonis. Oh, was that? That was Tom Charonis. That was Tom Charonis. Oh, that's very right. Good Our man. director, Tom Charonis. Tells his voice? Yeah. Where is he? Has anybody talked to him? Finds out. Not recently. <laughs> Holy. That's right. Dave was also a ventriloquist. That's right. The great ventriloquidine. <laughs> <laughs> we should make a list at some point of all of Dave's hidden talents. Tap dancing, knife throwing, ventriloquism. Lewis Morton. Lewis Brian Morton, Kelly. Brian Kelly, Alan, Alan, Alan Jay. Sam, Sam Johnson Chris and Chris Marshall, who have not shown up for one DVD session. Mm -hmm. Sam, no, Sam was there, yeah. at Sam oh, the last one. one. You, was that you the one there. I didn't show yeah, up? You didn't <laughs> show up. <laughs> you weren't there. I can't tell I, the difference between those two. I take Kevin McDonald is credited as Kevin Hamilton McDonald. What's that about? I think that's a. What's going on? That's a SAG thing. Do you guys ever know? Notice that? No. I never noticed that. Guy, that's crazy. just the kind of thing I watch the commentaries for. <laughs> Me, too. Excellent. Me too. Me too. I'm glad I watched commentary. this.